Namo Namo everyone. So now today we'll be continuing further with the lesson My Elder Brother. So in today's video we'll be continuing further. We'll be reading scene 3 of the story. Scene 3 The results were out once again and it so happened that Munna passed and Bhaiya failed again. Bhaiya was really upset. Munna was also sad, seeing his brother so unhappy. Bhaiya now becomes gentler with Munna. Munna became naughtier because of this and studied even less than before. So once again the results were out. In the last result, Bhaiya failed but Munna passed. In this result too, Munna passed and Bhaiya failed again. So this time Bhaiya was really upset. So when Munna saw that his Bhaiya was upset, even he became sad. Now Bhaiya was more gentle with Munna. He did not scold him much. But because of that, Munna started becoming more naughtier. But now he was studying even lesser than before. So let's see. Ah, I am lucky. I can pass easily. I need not study so hard. Now I can play games with my friends and fly kites. But I should still be careful that Bhaiya does not see me flying kites. So he was talking aloud. He was talking to himself that how lucky he is. He can pass so easily without studying much. That his Bhaiya was studying so much but he could not pass. But on the other hand, Munna studied less but he could pass the exams easily. So he thought that he does not have to study very hard. So now he can, you know, play a lot of games with his friends. He can go around flying kites. But then he thought that he should be a little careful. That Bhaiya does not notice him flying kites. One day, a kite is flying slowly downwards. Munna starts running in order to grab it. Suddenly he comes face to face with Bhaiya. So now Munna was, you know totally free. He was playing games, he was flying kites and he was not paying attention to his studies. So one day a kite was flying downwards so Munna started running towards it so that he could grab it. But while he was running he came face to face with his bhaiya. So now what happened after that? Let's see. Catching hold of Munna's hand bhaiya said Aren't you ashamed to be playing kites all day long? Don't you realize that now you are in 8th class and are not studying in a lower class? If you think that I am just one class ahead of you and I can't say anything, you are wrong. I am 5 years older than you are and will always be. Understanding doesn't come only from reading books. Look at Ma and Baba. Ma has never gone to school and Baba has only passed 5th class. So now Bhaiya was angry with Munna. So he, you know, asked Munna that aren't you ashamed of yourself that you are flying kites all day and you don't pay attention to your studies at all. You should realize that now you are going in higher classes. Now you are in 8th standard. So you should pay more attention to your studies. Then he told him that if you think that I am just one class ahead of you, and I can't tell you anything because of that, then you are totally wrong, right? Even if there is only a class difference between both of them, still there's a big age gap between them, right? Bhaiya is still five years older than him and will always be, right? That age gap is never going to shrink. Then Bhaiya further says that understanding does not only come by reading books. Like for example, look at Ma and Baba, right? Ma never went to school and Baba had only studied till fifth class. But still they were very mature and understanding, right? So it is not necessary that understanding and knowledge only comes from reading books. Really, Bhaiya? Is that true? So, this was the first time Munna came to know about that. 
सो ही वॉज शॉक्ड सो ही आस्क हिज भैया दैट इज इट रियली ट्रू देन वॉट हैपन्स नेक्स्ट विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट दैट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो स्टेट यूंड थैंक यू सो मच